Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to bulk upload our orders. This will save you a bunch of time. And for those of you who um, have problems getting pictures, you really don't have to worry about that now because there is a way that you can um, take your orders from Paparazzi, download them, and then upload them into Shopify. So we're gonna work through this process I am working on a paparazzi consultant, Letley um, Smith's page, and you go to your profile, and then you're gonna go to your order history. So we're just gonna choose one, I'll just pick one, and you're gonna go all the way down. You might wanna note your order number down so that you won't enter this twice. So you might just wanna write your order down so that you won't put them in twice. I don't know what I just did here, but. Okay, so here is our, our order. And then this is the order number. Okay, so now we have our order up. And again, just remember to jot your order number down so that you won't end up entering it twice. Then you wanna scroll all the way down to the end until you see where it says order EX order export, export. So you just want to click that button. It's going to create a um, spreadsheet for you. Just minimize that for now. And then once we do that, the next stop is to go to our Shopify store. And we're going to go to products. And so we now want to be able to import the uh, CSV file that we just downloaded. So you're going to click over to the corner here, right beside add product. You're going to click on import product. And then you're going to add your file. And this is where we need to remember that number um, that we put in. Okay, so the number I believe is this one. That's why it's so important, 2836. We're gonna open that up. Okay, and then we don't have to worry about adding or checking any boxes here. We're just gonna click upload and continue. And then it says you're importing products. This gives you an idea. It's, it's gonna bring in 10 products. It's gonna bring in your SKU numbers. It's gonna bring in all of your images. It's gonna save you a boatload of time. This gives you an idea of how it will look once it's imported. It gives you paparazzi SKU number and it also gives you the retail price of the product. Just click import products. It'll let you know that they're importing the products. It will probably take a minute for the wheel to turn. So just be patient. Okay, so it'll let you know down the bottom here, products have been imported. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, how will I find the products? It will, you'll see where it says inventory not track. That lets you know that the products are in, however, they're not yet made available nor connected to Facebook. So what you're going to do is go over to, and you're, again, you're in your all products section. You're gonna go over to milk, more filters, click on more filters. Then you're gonna click on availability. And what we want to see is the products that are currently unavailable on Facebook. And you're gonna click that button, unavailable on Facebook. Then you click done. Now your product list is a lot shorter. And what you'll notice is that all the products that you placed on your order here these products are now entered into your Shopify. So even though it says active, it's active on Shopify, but it is not active on Facebook yet and it is not placed in your inventory. So in order to accomplish both of those goals, we'll click on each item. And then you're gonna remember what I told you in the last video when we're up, 
when we doing it manually, you want to make sure you write in by paparazzi because that helps us with the search engines. Okay, and then the same thing down the bottom. You don't have to do this, but I do advise you again by paparazzi. All right, here you have an option. You can add both or you can add one. Just click on an image that you want to add. If you want to add both, click both. It slows your website down though, so I don't advise you to click on a lot of images of the same product. Your retail price is $5. Your, your, your cost is $275. If you charge tax, you want to leave that. This is very, very important. Now, they're going to automatically give you a SKU number. That is paparazzi SKU number. You don't have to worry about that. You're going to click track quantity. And when you click your track quantity, you need to be able to tell us how many you of this item did you purchase. So you simply go back to your paparazzi order and you look at what it is that you bought and then the item. And in this case, it is two. So you go back here and you put available two. This is a physical product, whatever your weight is, you wanna put that in. If, it, if you bought silver and gold, you click on variant and you will put the name, the, instead of putting size, you would put silver or you would put gold. That way, uh, Facebook will show a silver and they will show a gold option. Then you wanna go over to the right-hand side top. You wanna make sure it's on active. And then this is very important, your sales channels and apps. You wanna click on manage. Online store, it's already there, Facebook and Messenger. Click Done. This way, you're telling Shopify, please update my Facebook and my Facebook Messenger. Okay? The product type is jewelry. And now your vendor says paparazzi accessories. Remember, I told you to put the name of your company as a vendor, so you'll see an option here for paparazzi accessories. You can either leave it or put yours in. It really doesn't matter. As far as collections, um, in Letley's case, she has a Fabulous Five collection where everything that's $5 goes automatically to the Fabulous Five category. If you currently do not have your Shopify set up in collections, I strongly advise you to do so. It makes it easier for your customers to find what they're looking for. Anything over a certain dollar amount goes to a whole nother level that Let Letley has as far as Letley's favorites. But if you want, because she has her, her jewelry set up in collections, then what she needs to always do is make a decision. Do I want this piece to show not only in my collections, but do I also want it to show on my homepage? In this case, she does. And because Letly uses um, comment, uh, Facebook comment selling, it automatically tags that image for her. Some of you, a tag helps your customers um, find you. If you have certain collections, you can put in that name. If you have a summer collection, this is a tag to lets people know how they can easily, or if someone is searching for something, a summer collection or summer jewelry, cheap summer jewelry, you will put something like that in a tag. For those of you who are using com Facebook comment selling, this is will automatically be done for you. So you don't have to worry about your number. And at that time, when you are unpacking your, your stuff, you will automatically give that tag number. So you will know that when you go to pull that item to show it on your show, you will know that number is 162. That's the number that matches with a Facebook comment selling. Then you just click save. And it'll tell you product was saved. And now you want to go, instead of don't go back to all products, you want to hit this little arrow key over here. Okay? And that's going to take you to the next item. You just click on the next item. And then you start the process all over again. Okay, and you just go through the same process until you get to all of, um, when you complete all of your products. 
Okay, so we'll do one more. Again, you choose which image you want to use. Price is $5. Your cost, 2.75. It's a physical product, put your weight in. If it's if you have silver and gold, you will put a variant and you would add a category silver and gold. You wanna make sure that it's active. You wanna manage your sales channel, click on Facebook, click on Messenger. Online store will already be added for you, okay? Your type is jewelry, your vendors paparazzi accessories, your collections, she wants to add this to her homepage. And it's already tagged with the comment Facebook selling tag. And you hit save. And you would just continue this process throughout your entire order. And then when you are ready to check it, you simply go to Facebook. You got to give it some time for it to populate. It may not show up on your Facebook right away. Um, let's check and see. But just give it a minute. And it should show up in your Facebook shop. So we're gonna click on shop. Okay, not just yet. But again, give it a minute. Facebook, it normally takes it maybe about an hour, an hour or so. It depends on, I don't know if we have um, let these shops set up on automatic where it does it once a day, but it will populate on the shop. Okay, that is it for this video. And again, this is how to add bulk items from your paparazzi order to your Shopify uh, quickly. All right, I'll see you all in the next video.